I want to hear from your perspective, man of God, to why do you think deliverance is still necessary? We know it is, but give me your perspective of why you think it's necessary because of what's going on. We have a lot of church going on. We got a lot of fluff. We got a lot of play or um, church as usual, and there is no deliverance when it comes to the body of Christ. Give me a perspective on that. I, I will say this. The early church, when people would give their life to God, mm -hmm. they would lead them to come out of idols, come okay. out of religious mixtures. Mm -hmm. Actually, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, everybody immediately rushes to the 12 gifts. But mm. they miss why the Apostle Paul clarified how they operate. He said that, listen, he said, I would not have you ignorant, seeing you were Gentiles carried about by dumb idols, even as you were led. Okay. No one speaking by the Holy Spirit calls Jesus anathema or a mm. curse. Mm. He was saying, showing the Corinthian church in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 1 through 4, he was showing the Corinthian church that they had to come out of the mixture. Mm -hmm. Moving along, Acts chapter 19. Many of them that believe confessed their deeds and, and, and showed their works. And they burnt and got rid of the occult mystic books. And the right. price of it was 50,000 pieces of silver. And mm. then it said, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. What I have learned through over 40 years of doing deliverance that if the enemy has his way he will cause the church to operate under a mixture and the word of god can be hindered when it is not pure wow i ain't finished in the book of acts chapter 16 yes sir there was a damsel that had a spirit of python it was right. a medium mystic spirit of divination mm -hmm. That demon had the capability of entering into prayer. The hmm. saints were praying. Don't tell me we pray so hard the devils can't come to get in here. No. That demon went into prayer with a first century apostle there. Hmm. And not only it wasn't enough for her to do that. Girlfriend turns around under the inspiration of a spirit of divination and prophesies an accurate word. Yes. That's what I say almost jokingly. Had Ooh. she done that in most of our churches, we would have either made her a part of the prophetic team or yes. the intercessors. Come on. Because we'd be too blind, too dumb to know what we're listening at. That we would call a prophetess. Yes, we would have brought her up and brought her up front. When she did this, Paul said many days she did this. And Paul being grieved in his spirit. Now here mm -hmm. was the prophecy she gave. She, this, the prophecy went like this. These be men of the most high God which show unto us the way of salvation. Men mm. of God, you could not call that a lie. Every word that was spoken was truth. People truth. think in order to discern, discern demons, they lie. Demons don't always lie. They, they will tell lie. the truth to further their game of bondage. Yes, sir. What happened was, she did this many days. How did Paul discern what was operating? First of all, Paul's spirit man was in harmony with the Holy Ghost. It all said right. Paul being grieved or troubled in his spirit. Mm -hmm. He detected it because he became spiritually agitated. He knew that the climate of the Holy Ghost, the atmosphere of the Spirit, was interrupted by an intruder that was not God. Come on. Paul casts this demon out. And after it was cast out, she no longer could use mediumistic abilities. Come on. The people she worked for became irate they became angry